Dear Lord, thank you for the Sabbath day. Thank you that we can gather. Thank you that we have the opportunity to study together. And please be with us during this day. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. So good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the three waves of feminism. And that's in the German part of the in the German speaking countries. Because I found this topic very interesting. The corner topic is interesting. Because women had to fight step for step for their rights during the centuries. So let's have a look at the definition of a women's movement. It says it's a term, uh, the term women's movement refers to a global social movement. Women's movement, new power movement, yes, it is social, that campaigns for equality, you know, campaign, campaign, equality, and recognition of women in the government and other areas of society. Important topics are women voting rights. My topic are important. Um, gender equality. Uh, and the re-evaluation of traditional gender roles. Two rules that, uh, that crystallized already from early on. Is on one side the dualistic or differential view. Uh, view cannot differential view. Which assume the difference of the sexes. And that was fundamentally or natural. It was fundamentally natural. We are put younger, she natural, she fundamental. On these new sciences. Can I put it? base Kunema science in the other one is the generalistic or egalitarian view. Yes, she paid more no origin general, can I put away egalitarian, which was based on the ideas of the enlightenment. Ori based in my ideas, a enlightenment, according to which all people were equal by nature. From which the demand for gender equality in all areas of society was derived from this. So, the name of the women's rights activists. women's rights activists. Was in the first uh, women's movement, they were called suffragettes. Women's movement, you could hang a way that it's always in the suffragettes, and because that was a main part of their uh, what they wanted to achieve in this time. The good in door, Pane Chikuru Chaveda, who achieved a pangua yoi, which was the voting, oh, sorry, yeah, the voting yeah, yeah. rights, yeah, yeah, my rights, equal food. So, when we look at the first wave of feminism, so but no types of wave, you could a feminism. You are able to put the presentation on. So I made a line. Uh, it's oh. not. Oh yeah. It's not a line that we are used to in the movement. I can draw a line. Uh, it's a just movement. The, you know. the things that happened as a fact in the story history. So no the first wrong. one is 1791. Is 1791. And there was a woman, she was called Olympe de Gouges. Gouge. Shortly after the declaration of the right of men and of the citizen. Um, declaration of rights and citizens. And she demanded yeah, the same rights and duties for women as for men. 
akadimanda marides akafanana nemajuti zvakafanana kumanukadzi mm. nevarume uh, yes um so um this history that i'm telling you is more for from the german uh, from germany so in other countries it might be different norondo yandri kukudza iyi yakanyanya kurerekera ku germany Kune zimwe nyika inogona kunge iri different yakasiyana zvayo. Uh, so I will start over at Olympe de Gouges. She lived shortly after the Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen. She demanded the same rights and duties for women. I demand my rights. I can't find no. No ma. No ever room. I can't. 1843. We have Louise Otto Peters. 1843. To know Louise Otto Peters. And she wrote this uh, quote we have on the board. I can't hear a quote yet. I know about board. She said the participation of women in the interests of the state is not a right but a duty. I can't even participate. I can't even look at it. Interest is data is right as if you could go back to the line before. So, um, she was an early representative of women's movement in the German speaking countries. I was representative of women's movement in German speaking countries. And the aim from her was to expand the employment opportunities. Yeah, don't you like I don't put you. 
wa wa kazi wa ni ma opportunity kwenda kwa mabasa so that the unmarried woman in particular kuitra kuti madzimai aningasina kuchata can become econom economically independent bano kuno ku leo independent panya dzemari then we have 1848-49. So, 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 that was shortly after the revolution. Uh, revolution yeah, where women have played an active role uh, in in the in the things that happen uh, in the state. But after the yeah, and it, after the revolution. Revolution, yeah, pera. They were forbidden to be politically active. Vakarambizo kuvi active now the politics. And there was also made a ban on them to assembly um politically. Uye vakarambizo jakari ku wungana ba mairanje politics. Then we have eighteen sixty five. To sushka eighteen sixty five. There was the foundation <coughs> of the general Germans women's association. Papaini Foundation ni general Germans Women's and their Association. their main goals were the following. Improving educational opportunities for women. Ku improve ma opportunity to encourage employment for women. The Women's Association also demanded the right to work. Association ni madzimai yai to demand a right yek to work. Mai vashandi. The establishment of industrial and commercial schools for girls. Ku establish wakwema industrial and commercial schools. And equal pay for equal work. But a roja kainzana. Kana wana shinga basa raka fanana. Then we have 1887. Toso wawani 1887. We have Helene, Helene Lange. Tina Helene Lange. We have a picture also of her. Tina picture of Shakari Ake. She fought to improve the education of girls and teachers in Prussia. That's a specific place in Germany. And partially because of her commitment, <laughs> six, six young, young women were allowed to take the school leaving examination in Berlin. So the um, school leaving examination is like the matura matura matura. It's a uh, it's the higher school that girls could do. School leaving examination. Do you? She couldn't even In 1896, we have uh, the first woman who starts studying in Germany. 1896, uh, in Germany. In Baden, a town of Germany. The government implemented, despite the male protests from all the professors, protests. That women were allowed to study. So from this time period on, women were allowed to study. Then we have 1911. That was the first International Women's Day. International Women's Day. Clara Zetkin. Proposed the International Women's Day in 1910. Proposal, International Women's Day in 1910. It was created as an initiative for the following things. On one side, the fight for equal rights. On the other side, the right to vote and also the emancipation of women workers. Then we have 1918. Women's right to vote. 
So a major success of the first women's movement was the right to vote. And that was for all the female citizens from the age of 21. This was for all female citizens aged 21 and older. And this was also established in the Weimar Constitution. In the year 1919, so one year after 1918, uh, on the election, there was 18, a 19, participation of women 18. from 90 percent. And 10 percent of the female representatives in the par parliament. And at the same time as the right uh, to vote came up, uh, came also uh, the guardianship of fathers over adult unmarried women. And also the husband. So women husband and men were had this uh, guardianship over the women. <laughs> then we have 1933. That was the time of national socialism. National socialism. And the women's movement of the first wave came came to an end there. Uh, movement first wave When the national socialists came to power. National socialist As a result, there was a significant significant setback on the path of the em em emancipation. Uh, the exercise of higher professions was banned for women. Exercise in my professions, uh, the right to have vote was banned again. Uh, and the Jewish Women's Association was banned by the government in 1938. So, in summary, in the first wave, they fought for the following things. Uh, the women's right to vote which was legally implemented in Germany in November 1918. The right to employment. The right to education. And also that women can study. The right to active and passive political action. Right to active and passive political action. And a new society on new moral basis. Society each yeah, in the moral basis each. German speaking countries, there were three streams of uh, women's movements. On, on one side, it was movement. the civil moderate women's movement. They fought especially for municipal voting rights. Also for the improvement of educational opportunities for women. And also the recognition of women's employment. Then we have the civil radical women's movement. They fought for full voting rights at the national level. 
level and also national. the rights for women to access universities we are my rights emma to my put work once opened up my university and the third one was a socially socialist women's um movement Socialists. They were especially movement. fighting for improvement of working conditions. And in equal pay for women and men. Then we go to the second wave. Um, if you could put it on the screen. One further. So after the Second World War, Second World War, yeah, the women's movement in Germany was sparked again. Movement, yeah, German, yeah, through a students' movement in Germany. movement here, my students, uh, German. And this was in the 1960s. It was also created as a criticism. Of the massive discrimination of women or against women and especially mothers. The discrimination and Gakanyanya, the Mazumanyanyanyanyanyi, so the special uh, characteristics of this wave are the right to self determination. Saka, my characteristics and Kaka Kosha, I have a right, a good yet self determination. Active right to have a say in politics. Oh, my rights were are active. Abol uh, politics. Abolition of paragraph 218 abortion, my belly belongs to me. Uh, uh, could this work a paragraph 218? You could abortion sexual. Sexuality and sexual abuse. Sexuality, we yeah, sexual abuse. So 1949. 1949. Um, equality comes into the constitution. Equality, the DDR, uh, GDR, it's a part in Germany. Uh, um, the constitution states that men and women have equal rights. Constitution, actually, not our rights are going down. Then 1961. Women 1961. are the first time in government. Elizabeth Schwarzhaupt is the first woman to become a federal minister. Elizabeth Schwarzhaupt is the first woman to The CDU party moder modernizes its women's policy. CDU party yaka modernizes policy away matzimai. And appoints Rita Susmut as the first minister for women in 1986. Uh, Rita Atao and um, Then we have 1968. In Posita, 1968. So in this time, you consider, uh, consider it as the starting signal for the second wave of women's movement. You know, Taris Rongeri, Panotanga wave is a pity in the western yeah, part of Germany. The movement, yeah, western part At of a Germany. At a congress, Helka Sander accused the SDS men, men of ignoring discrimination against women. The congress, no, Mats Mayvaka accused my SDS men. As a, a female protest, Sigrid Damruger threw tomatoes in the directions of the board table. And the and the magazine they use no staring the good German. Yeah. Uh, they had a title in the newspaper which was called We Have Aborted. The 
the journalist Alice Schwarzer, uh, Schwarzer, which is also a feminist, journalist Heinz Alice Schwarzer, a feminist, has published an article in which 374 celebrities and non celebrities. Akab Gazro article apo 374 ma celebrity ne mangu wanga wa sile ma celebrity. Confess to have had an abortion. Vakare ururo wa chita ainda kambu abut. And thereby they violated the law of law of paragraph 218 of the criminal German record code. Nae shushu waka violate law ye paragraph 218. German code. And this article created a big attention from the people. Because it was the first time that such a topic was discussed in public. Topic discussed for more public. 1976. 1976. The first woman shelter was founded in West Berlin. Since Berlin. then, women and children were abused by their partners. So that was the first one, but since then, there are more uh, women's shelters in Germany. Also, at this time, the newspapers such as Courage and Emma addressed extremely sensitive topics for the climate of their time. In 1977, we have the first law on the reform of marriage and family law. Housewives' marriage is abolished, where women are legally obliged to run the household. The husband's right to terminate his wife's employment without notice is abolished. From now on, the wife's name can be used as the joint family name at the time of marriage. Then we have the 1970s, 1980s. So, 1980. That's the first time where, where um, research and feminist teaching came into, um, into uh, research. Uh, Feminism okay. entered academy, uh, academia in 1976 with the first Berlin Women's University. Uh, this was the feminism that got pinned out of my institution in uh, 1976. It's a tanga or a Berlin institution at all. For example, with gender studies, which ask how gender shapes human communities. So, it means that the gender studies are not fun, but gender is not shaped as a community. And how gender in turn is shaped by them. And that was the first uh, that was adopted first at the Humboldt University in Berlin, 1997. In the 1980s, we have also the law on the equal treatment of women and men in workplace. Uh, 1980. The principle of equal treatment in the workplace is implemented as a legal right in the German Civil, German civil Code. The uh, principle of equal employment is a legal right in the German Code. Likewise, the right to equal pay. 
Shakafana Naoma writes, ku pay zakainzan. And this is still a central feminist topic today. Each topic came a feminist with central Muswaranas. Also, job advertisements should be gender neutral. Shakari advertisements a gender, I found gender neutral. In the 1980s, we have the Black Feminist Women's Movement. In the 1980s, that are the Black Feminist Movements. So it used to be that Black and White women were together as a feminist group. Ma Black and White women were together as a feminist group. But as they were facing a discrimination from the White women, they felt oppressed and that's why they started to have their own women's movement. 1997, we have the Marsha and no, no Marsha rape becomes a criminal offense. Uh, pane, a marital? Marital, sorry. Marital, non marital rape, Zakas Uvao, criminal offense. So in the 1980s, Unana 1980, the women's movement has become more diverse. They are diverse. Movement, Yamazimai, Yakas Uvao, before we had um, just one group or three groups who were fighting for their rights. Now it became more diverse, so people started separating and doing their own um and fighting for their own things they want. So for example, mothers so migrant women. Um, immigrants, scientists, um, scientists, and they all uh, made their own association or so, politic, uh, political association or institutions. So political associations, our institution, The concerns of the women's movement fell out of the public eye. Um, uh, concerns Emma movements. Emma women's movements are also Buddha almost so republic, and they were increasingly seen as outdated. As a but with the new women's rights, Nema women's rights, Macha with the new women's rights, uh, Panema women's rights, a postmodern image of society, postmodern image, yes, yeah, society. That took away the pressure for many women to fulfill a certain female role. In the 1990s, also renewed anti-feminism appeared. Also an indif uh, indifference and ignorance towards women's issues developed. Indifference, ne ignorance, um, nyanye kumadzi mai, this my issues why the of develop. the second women's movement. Ishi, ne, of my offshoots of the second new women's streams. movement. Aka so lead up ne mangu ma streams ma. And some speak of the third wave of feminism. Wangwano so tanga oktora neje feminism, ye wave each tatu. So when we could uh, have the last folder. So 2002, 2002, there was the prostitution law. It was a consequence of the prostitutes movement in the 1980s, 1990s. It reduced the, the, the discrimination of against prostitutes. Discrimination against my prostitute. And sex workers can now pay into the public health. My sex workers can now pay into the public health. 
Uh, also in unemployment and in pension insurance. So Shakari. public health, unemployment and in pension pension insurance. Shakare mu unemployment ne pension insurance. Saka public health, then unemployment we have 2005. ne pension insurance. Koso ti 2005. We have our first uh, female cancel chancellor. Takawa oni chancellor mutimai wekutanga. Angela Merkel. Thanks Angela Merkel. And then we have 2013. Toso 2013. There was a debate about everyday sexism. Hakawa oni debate ye sexism in Masura Ese. And it was made with the hashtag outcry. Yaka katsuwa ni hashtag gains a hashtag outcry. After a woman posted a sexist experience on Twitter, Mutsumai a poster experience a sexist pa Twitter. The net feminist Anne Witzorek. A uh, net feminist in the Anne Witzorek. And other yeah, and other young women established the hashtag outcry. The mom must may actually give a good zero. Hashtag in the outcry. On Twitter, which triggered an avalanche of tweets. A Twitter here got trigger. Um, my tweets are called wonder wand. Women reported comments and assaults that they ha- are confronted with in their everyday lives. Mads may way to report all my comments in my assaults are they wanna swan is sure and that they perceive it as sexist. Shakari way she will know if you can get a sexist. The hashtag outcry was used more than 50,000 times within a few days. Hashtag outcry yaka shandis for. 50,000 times per sura. The sexism debate was then also a topic in print media and talk shows. Uh, debate is sexism in Yaka Sovao, uh, Pointe Kutaura Mum talk media, and also in the international press. Nama talk shows. Shakari Mapepa Nau, a past Then we have the last waymark, so to speak. Me too. Me too. I think most of you know already about it. In the, uh, October 2017, October 2017, the Weinstein scandal became public. Numerous women have accused film producer Harvey Weinstein of sexual harassment, coercion, and rape. Or Matsumai, rape. Matsumai waka waka kukusa, film producer Harvey Weinstein, sexual harassment, ne coercion, ne rape. But what she barred. In response to that, actress Alyssa Milano she respond to that, uh, called for I the hashtag act- Me Too to be used. I act times Alyssa Milano aka they zero out hashtag Me Too. She wanted to encourage affected women to draw attention to the scope of sexual harassment and sexual assault. Since then, this hashtag has been used millions of times. And for the topic of sexualized violence against women. Back on the daily agenda. So let's have a short summary. We have seen in the first wave of women's feminism. For they, they fought for basic rights. For example, voting rights. In the second wave, the following issues were discussed or, or they fought for. Right to self-determination. Right active to right to have a say in politics. Active right to have the abolition of paragraph 218 with abortion. 
kupsiswa kwe paragraph 218 nea portion. And sexuality, sexual abuse. Ne, yeah, sexuality, ne, sexual abuse. And in the third wave, we saw that the women's movement become more diverse. To better represent the different interests of women. So our challenge in the movement now is to understand radical feminism. Radical feminism. And to learn what it means to be a radical feminist movement. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that we had the study together. Thank you for, for learning more about the feminism. Thank you for all the progress already all the pro progress that already happened with women's rights. Please help us to understand better what it means to be a feminist. And please be with us during this day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.